love yourself and promote that to everyone else so they have that same message and they can incorporate that into their own lives. Because sometimes there'll be like internet trolls or people that try to like get you down on social media and I always just, I have this little saying, I say, give people a taste of your own medicine and not their own. Because you know that their medicine's foul and they're trying to put out bad energy into the world. So just give them some positive. I love that. Give people... Hi, Dreamer. <laughs> Hungry? Is that good stuff? Yeah. Don't make a mess. You can see where a lot of the property has not been mowed. All that yellowy stuff. The uh, guy we paid to mow, we only had enough money to mow half. And actually, we didn't need to mow that anyway. We'll cut it down midsummer, hopefully, and get some hay for the winter. Just having trouble getting somebody to do that and when you can't afford a tractor you can't do it yourself so we're working on a mower first as you see we've got some tall scraggly things and what I've actually been doing is just going in and grabbing some grass just pulling it up and then when I do is I just throw it over to the goats. They've already had a bunch this morning. And they like it. This way they get a little greenery to eat. Hi guys! They'll be getting a new fence in about a week and a half. Okay? Hang tight. You've been very patient. Good boys. Okay. So they really have been very patient. Uh, we've been saving up money to buy them a fence right behind me. I'm inside the barn. Uh, is where we're going to fence for them. So that they can eat all of this and maintain it. And we don't have to bring the mower back here. And I won't have to deal with a lot of hay because hay makes a mess and looks like somebody's been in the hay since yesterday. Let me show you. Yep, that's something was in the hay. There's a lot of mixed stuff in there. But all the hay was up here, which thankfully was left by the previous homeowner. Uh, they had bailed up their own hay, and we still have these two left to use up. But right now, we got to give the goats some hay and sort of clean this up a bit. Okay, so right now, the barn still needs to be repainted. These are some things we have to do. Uh, we have to install some kind of doors across the front to keep, or gates, to keep the wildlife from just going in and messing up the hay. Plus, I think this is where uh, we might put Dreamer to winter or... Uh, the goats, depending on the situation. So 
So here's my plan for the goat gate. Here's the goats on this corner right here. I plan on doing it right outside so we can just open that gate and start off with something small. How about this tree? This is some old tree. It'll probably have to go one day. But it is still very much alive and just very, very big. Anyway, so continue the goat fence around. Probably in this, there's a circular path here to where that old chicken coop is. And everything else is fenced off. And this way, it can get into, look at that. That's Dreamer's Paddock that you saw in earlier videos. Because he can't eat grass, he couldn't go in there. And that's his door. So we're hoping to eventually fence off this area so he can go in his paddock. But I have the only horse in the world that can't eat grass or any kind of big giant vegetation like that. He uh, has probably has some kind of kink in his intestines. I'm told by the vet that he has to eat up his chopped pellets that I have to buy and soak for him as you saw earlier in the video. I'm trying to kill some grass there with the tarp but it's going to be a long process but it is dying under there. That was a, a, a tip I had learned from somebody. Just let it smother it and uh, Luckily, we haven't gotten that much rain, but the uh, temperature sure builds up under a black tarp and gets it all nice and toasty. So that's really low and almost dead. But uh, since I'm going to let the goats out, they'll eat this whole area down and hopefully eat some of Dreamers down. And as you can see, it's all it'll all be closed in. It's all closed in over there. This is a previous vegetable garden uh, and flower garden. There's a lot of thorns and stuff in there right now. Um, has to be really cleaned out. But right now we're working on this inner area for the goats. So that's really it for today. It's 4th of July, so happy Independence Day, everybody. If I could even hold this a little further, it would be nice, but I can't. My arms are too short. So, um, got to finish doing my chores for the morning. Hopefully I'll relax. It's really kind of warm, but there's a nice breeze out in Missouri today. So, everybody have a great day. Be safe. And I'll see you soon. Okay, animals all taken care of. Now we got to do the laundry.